So this is a quick update on a detail of my uh, recent sliding glass text panels tutorial. So at the end of this tutorial, I showed you a technique to create a sort of drop shadow of the, the text. And uh, on reflection, I don't think that was the right way of going about it by using the actual drop shadow on the, uh, the text object. So I'm going to show you a different way, which I think is going to be much nicer because it'll be actually be correct in terms of the geometry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that top text layer there and I'm going to make a clone layer of it and then I'm going to move it back negative 80 on Z, which obviously is the thickness of our box. And then I'm going to come to filters, blur, Gaussian blur, set this to something like 64, nice and blurred, and knock its opacity back to something like 40%. And I think that's a much, much nicer look. And of course, we get the correct depth value for that, which we weren't getting with the other technique. So you can do that same thing with each of the other layers, and I think it's going to look nice. So now I've done that to all five layers, and I think, I think it's a nice effect, and certainly better than the other option. So I hope that's useful. Thanks very much for watching. See you soon.